This tutorial will teach you how to implement role-based access control in the Spring Resource Server. We will map roles and claims from the JWT access token to the granted authorities. We start with the code from the previous video in this series. You can watch the video using the link in the upper right corner. First, we briefly go over the Maven POM XML file. As always, we will use the latest version of Spring Boot. In this case, it is 3.0.2. The Java version is 17. And the following dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Web. Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Resource Server. In the application properties, we have the server port and the Spring Security OAuth 2 Resource Server JWT issuer URL. This is the address of the Spring Authorization Server. To convert the claims of the JWT access token to the granted authorities of the user, we need a bean of type JWT Authentication Converter. Two settings are important here. The name of the claims in the JWT access token that we want to convert. In our case, this is authorities. And the authority prefix in our case, this is empty because the claims in the JWT access token already have the roles prefix. The last minor tweak to the code is the home controller. We use the authentication to display the user's name and authorities. These are all the modifications in the Spring Resource Server. We can now run to the Spring Authorization Server, the Spring Resource Server, and the Spring OAuth 2 client and look at the result. If we have started the three projects, we can now view the result in a browser window. We first log in with the developer account and password. And get the result from the Spring Resource Server. Welcome home. The date and time and the username and authorities of this user developer. In a second window, we log in with the user account and password. Now we get as a result. Welcome home. The date and time. And the username and authorities of this user user. This was it for this video. In the next video, we are going to convert the roles in the Spring OAuth 2 client. The process in the client is different than in the resource server. Thanks for following.